guys. Yes. You, guys. So how are you enjoying a nice cold London this evening? Well, what would perfect. London be without cold? You know, just being here for the premiere warms your heart. <laughs> Flight's been quite well received, hasn't it? I mean, Denzel's got the Oscar nod. It's doing quite well in the States. Our writer got an Oscar nod yeah. also, so we have two Getting Oscar nods. Reaction. We're very pleased yeah. with that. We're very pleased. We hope that uh, in the UK they embrace it the way they've embraced it in the United States. It's quite interesting, the writer's Oscar nomination, because it's such an unconventional structure. I mean, it starts out as a completely different movie to the one we end up with, yeah. which is... I'm curious about the development process for that. Well, you know, he developed it himself. This was a personal passion piece for John Gatons. He's, he wrote this over 10 years ago. And he wrote it and stopped and wrote it and stopped, but finally finished it and wanted to direct it. And then it got to Denzel, who, uh, you know, really responded to it, and finally to Bob Zemeckis and to ourselves. So it's been a long road to get to where it is today. And, I mean, but when we would say that the plane crash, if you will, is just the setup for the actual movie. So the plane crash itself is not all encompassing about. of what the movie's about. It only triggers events that create what the movie's about. And you've obviously worked with Bob before, haven't you? Uh, many years. Since 1986 exclusively. That's got to be crazy. <laughs> you Since know, it's great because he's always doing something different. It's, uh, you know, he's made some great movies. I, f I feel privileged to have been part of them. He didn't at any point mention mocap for this one, though. No, this material no, no, this doesn't is... doesn't lend itself to mocap. Thank you very much. Reality is talking much. to us in this movie. <laughs> right. This is all lies. But it's very sort of serious subject matter, particularly compared to sort of some of the things that you have done before. What is it that makes you sort of feel like this is the sort of film you want to do? When you see when you read something that is so serious and sort of so deep. What is it that makes you desire to make something like that? We were intrigued with the complexity of the characters, the nuance of the scenes, the nuance of the writing, and the moral ambiguity of our hero was very, very interesting to us. Those gray areas that we live in where the world is not simply black and white but gray. The paradoxes that that represents that was very, very interesting to us. Maybe if we were 20 years old, it wouldn't be so interesting. But as old guys, it was very interesting. You know, it was really compelling. You know, when you read it, it you know, you kept turning the page because you really didn't know what this guy was going to do. You didn't know all the way to the end what he was going to do. And those are the fun stories, to fun movies to go to. When after the first 20 minutes, you know, I already know how this one's going to end. And you don't not know, this movie. And you don't know whether to root for him, not to root for him. I'm rooting for him. Is this the right thing to do? Am I not rooting for him? Is this right, the right thing to do? So it sort of twists your sense And that was all morality. in the screenplay. Yeah. You know, it's all in the script. You, you felt it when you read it. Okay, well, thank you very much, gentlemen.